Hello, everybody, and welcome to another update from Crypto Gossip. My name is Adam, your host. We've talked about the Hydro Protocol liquid staking opportunity and the promotion they were running about a month ago on the Injective ecosystem. Wanted to give you an update on that program and the fact that it did end a couple of days ago. Wanted to talk about my points and kind of how that performance and how that all did for me, as well as what I'm doing with the Injective and the funds that I had in this protocol and this farming because it has ended. So you can see the announcement from a couple of days ago that Hydro Protocol did say that the, the EAF or the promotion that took place over the last month has ended. Don't worry, you can continue to receive farming rewards for a year. Additionally, after the token launch, farming boost through the Hydro token will be activated. So please look forward to it. Get more Hydro. That's going to be launching in March on the Mito Finance Launchpad. But for now, it was just a point system, one for one point there. So how did that do for me? When I went into the Hydro uh, farming and, and participated in this from day one, I put in five H, uh, HINJ, which is their equivalent, that stake, liquid staking token of injective. And you would do that by going in here and you can, liquid stake your injective for a 15% APR and that HINJ can be used in other DeFi protocols. Big trend you're seeing out there in crypto with liquid staking with a lot of different tokens and, and injective is using you know, Hydro Protocol as one of their options there. So you, when you do this, the way that you uh, farmed for the points during this special promotion was I put my I got my five H, uh, HINJ 4.95 to be exact. You go to the farm tab over here and you would then put your funds and deposit your H INJ in here for points. So I got rewards totaling 44 points for the four week period. You know, not too bad there, depending on what that token price will go for when it gets launched. But you can see that when I did this, I did end up uh, starting off on January 30th. I had a partial uh, time from depositing it in there for half a day. But when I started fully getting that five HINJ to work there with the farm, I was started off getting a little, little bit over two other uh, points per day that was going down over time as more people were adding, you know, adding their HINJ to the pool and there was only so much that they were supplying there. But you can see that over time, over that four week period, it did get down to as low as about 1.45 points per day. And when the program ended on the 26th, I got partial credit there and then I pulled it, uh, my funds out after that. So there's still some partial points that you can accumulate and earn, like they said in that announcement. But when I started looking at how much I was going to be earning and not knowing what the token was going to be going for, I felt like it was time and the timing was right for me to put my funds over into Dojo Swap, which you talked about a couple days ago. And they've got an airdrop here that launched today from a window of, of a snapshot that they had and thought I wanted to position myself for that instead of Hydro Protocol for now. But, you know, but, you know, you never really know that I think Hydro Protocol is going to be a great platform to liquid stake on and to participate in Injectives DeFi. But definitely just felt like that with DeFi, you're always having to evaluate where you can get your best returns and Dojo Swap that we talked about here a couple of times was where I decided to go ahead and put my funds from that uh, liquid staking that I was doing. So as a reminder, when I went to Dojo Swap and kind of talked about this recently, and the token price has now just gone crazy, even from when we talked about it, it was like at 72 cents and now it's at $1.15 because of some announcements they made today and just overall, just the way that they've handled their token launch in early January and all the other things they're doing. So for example, once they did their own launch pad of their own token, they started announcing these airdrops of other projects. You know, if you start going down to the past airdrops here, you can see they had the Injective Kings NFT platform you know, project that dropped their iKings. And based on how much you were staking of Dojo and some of their other pools, got you an allocation over a snapshot window that they took place there during uh, during that February, kind of late February time frame. So that was pretty recent. They've also had the Injective Boys token, the Sushi uh, uh, token that was the, uh, that's really all the rage now on Injective. The Sushi Fighters and this is first ERC 404 token that came out. The Sushi Fighters NFT is basically a one for one equivalent. If you own one sushi, you can get one NFT. Those NFTs are now going for over a thousand dollars last time I checked and have been really popular out there. A lot of future use for that as well, but they've done a lot of airdrops that have added value to their Dojo token, which is creating a lot of excitement there. And, and most importantly here for me, they're launching here starting today, running through March 3rd. They're coming up with a token called Baby Dojo that for any of the qualifications here of if you can, if you put, have any of your Dojo or your funds in any of the following pools, 
it counts towards your net worth and the dollar amount you have in those pools gets you an equivalent of 42 cents worth of the dojo the baby dojo token coming out here so you can see that by me putting that five h i n j pulling that out and converting it into inj for the pool i entered it's now worth 217 dollars um, with an estimated allocation of this token of 91 dollars so the return was just too strong for me not to consider doing this instead of the hydro protocol now that that was over baby dojo is going to be you know a, a, a kind of a token concept where eight percent of every transaction volume will be used to buy back dojo to be redistributed to baby dojo holders and one percent of every transaction is used to burn dojo and, um, and another one percent to farm baby dojo lp so when you go out there there's the token airdrops that are out there the nft talks about the sushi uh, fighters nft that's out there there's a launch pad where they've also just announced the x uh, um, uh, ninja token this xnj token that's going to be starting here later this week tomorrow actually and ending on march 1st where you can participate if you are a dojo inj lp holder and you can purchase that token for five cents so another opportunity there of, of, of how that can all work for you so just again they've done a lot of these uh, drops they've also had in the past some other tokens that they've launched through their launch pad that have been really popular so again you can see why this has become so popular here there's also some farms out there where you can you know you're, where you're participating in this to get these airdrops and launch pads you, you can see that the dojo inj lp which is what i'm in is now yielding 300 percent apr so from putting this in yesterday um, i put in that that a couple hundred dollars in there i've already earned one and a half dojo tokens from that at that dollar 15. so a nice little return already that if that's what you're getting on a daily basis a little bit better i think than the hydro protocol option at this point a lot of other farms out there with their sushi tokens and the other tokens out there some of the liquid staking tokens that are out there they have their own dinj and then you see the hinj from hydro protocol in here as well some of the tokens they launched recently in the airdrop are also having their own lp as well and then you can also earn through just the regular pools that are out there of just a straight up dojo pool uh, at around 78 percent apr really strong dojo earning cage token etc that are out there and then the other big announcement that came out today that made this even more exciting was that they announced that the next next stage for dojo's growth is going to be evolving dojo swap to dojo labs they're going to be investing in the black panther seed round and black panther was one of those we talked about where if you staked with their validator you're getting their airdrop it's coming up soon they were originally going to launch on mito finance and now they've announced that they're going to actually be launching off of dojo swaps launch pad instead just because of how strong dojo swap has been doing and with that with this venture fund that they're starting up with airdrops for the dojo ecosystem just yet one more example and reason why dojo swap has become so popular and why this token price went up so much so definitely an exciting you know option there for you to consider but wanted to just give you this update on hydro protocol as well on where those points came in for me how, what the farming looked like Definitely looking forward to their token launch here soon and, and other opportunities to earn their Hydro token and participate in their DeFi along with Dojo Swap and all the other exciting things happening in the Injective ecosystem. Want to make sure you saw this for today. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel for this type of content. I'll keep you posted on the Hydro Protocol project, Dojo Swap, and the other cryptocurrency projects we cover. Thanks and have a good rest of the day and the week.